ransomware and all kinds of attacks are very prevalent these days. You do what you can do to protect yourself, and we try to do everything that's possible on our end to do it. But, you know, at some point, something's going to find its way in. My name's Craig Hurwitz, Barnstable Police Department, the IT director over here. It's not a question of if something's going to happen, it's a question of when now. You got to fight the battle and you got to, you know, have, have uh, exit plans for your way out of this. Your options usually with ransomware are to pay the ransom and hopefully, you know, the other end's going to be, you know, honest on their end and give you the key and you'll get your stuff back or, you know, you have to have an alternative plan. You got to wait, you have to have a way to go back, you know, get yourself back to the point before that infection started. And, you know, here, we need our systems up. We need them set up all the time. We're a 24-7 operation. You know, without our computers, we're back to the days of pencil and paper. You know, with police officers calling in on phones and, and radios trying to find information. You know, here we, we lose our biggest tool, which is our computers. There's a lot of things that you can do, a lot of things that you can put in place, but where do you stop? Where do you where do you draw the line? I mean, there's so much that, can, that you can do, and there's, there's only so much that, that we can do here, you know, given our limited budget and our uh, time and resources to, to, to fight these battles. But eventually, you have to realize that something's going to happen, and you need to have your exit plan, how you're going to fight this battle, how you're going to get out of it, and how you're going to resolve it, how you're going to get back to your business as normal. With our backup appliance here, we were doing four-hour windows of backups, you know, every four hours we take a backup. The ransomware can hit you at any point in time during that four hours. If you have to go back, what if it happened just right before that last backup happened, you know, you lose a whole four hours of your, of your, um, of your data. You know, you need something that you can go back to any point in time, you know, right before the accident or incident happened and just hit the button and go right back to there. We've got lots of systems in place to protect ourselves from these types of attacks. You know, we've got um, firewalls, we've got, you know, every endpoint has antivirus on it, all our servers have antivirus. Like everybody else, you have backups, you do snapshots of your environment, um, just so you have ways to get back. Restoring from backup, it's just, it's very cumbersome, you know, to move that much data around, it just takes a, a really long time to get yourself back up on your feet again. You know, and every minute that we're out here, you know, we have people out in the field with their lives on their lines, relying upon that data and that information. And you know, you have to do what you have to do here to get everybody back up on the same page as fast as you can. And without Reduxio, our uh, you know, we relied on legacy backup software with legacy storage. It was just spinning disk. You know, everything was slow. Everything was cumbersome. You know, everything was small. You know, we're looking for something that had the, uh, the, the capacity and the, uh, the performance. And, uh, you know, Reduxio came in and, and really answered all those questions. One thing that set everything, that set Reduxio apart from everything was the backdating. The ability of continual data protection to be able to go back to any moment in time. You know, it just added one more thing to that list of things that were just uh, really wow factors that, that really sold us on this, uh, on buying, buying the Reduxio on this appliance. Barnesville was a victim of a ransomware attack. Um, so over Labor Day weekend, most recently, um, we got hit. Got a call around five o'clock in the afternoon. You know, after I'd gone home, saying everything was was down, and logged in, took a look, and said, sure enough, noticed that our data was getting encrypted, and uh, you know, all our systems were going down. We had no access to our data. We had no access to our our dispatch or our records management system. All the computers in the cars you know, were rendered pretty useless because they can, couldn't be dispatched anywhere, they couldn't see, uh, the, the, none of the case information could be transmitted to them, call information, um, they didn't have the ability to, to run plates, to, you know, look up criminal histories when they're in the cruiser, so, you know, every, all our, our field officers are out. Um, here in dispatch, you know, we can look up cr criminal histories either, you know, past criminal information, um, you know, we had no, uh, none of our databases were active, you know, if we needed any information about where somebody was calling from, you know, everything was down at that point. So we were pretty much dead in the water back to the days of pencil, pencil and paper. That's when Reduxio really played a, a, a huge role in this whole, uh, the whole situation of, of, of recovery. I knew what time it was, I can go back to the exact second, you know, I played it safe, I rolled it back about 10 seconds past, you know, the, 
the, uh, the time that we were, were uh, hit, where I needed to get to, we're uh, actually also able to reconnect our host to our data. So it, it looked like nothing ever really happened. If we didn't have Reduxio, you know, the, the other side of that would have been a tremendously long time. You know, we've recovered or have restored backups in the past and uh, looking at a minimum of 36 hours to, to get back up and running, just to move that amount of data from a backup appliance back to a host, you know, to put all that data in place, it's, it's extremely long, cumbersome, tedious, and then there's no guarantee either that it's gonna work at that point. You know, then you gotta start again, then you're out another 36 hours. You know, it's taken our, our ability to, to recover from the situation from, you know, 36 hours down to, you know, to minutes. We're talking like 35 minutes that we were the victim of an attack to, uh, to being back up and running again. Having been a, a victim of a ransomware attack, you know, it's, it's really great to have a, a, a tool that's in your tool belt that you can use that will take you to the point in time right before the attack had happened you know, to get yourself right back and get yourself right back up on your feet as quickly as possible without uh, having to worry about backup windows. You know, you know you're there. You know you're continually protected. Your, your stuff is always there and it's always just at a flick of a dial to get back to it. Yeah, I was extremely happy with the uh, response time and uh, the ability to get ourselves back up on our feet in such a short amount of time. You know, it was, it was incredible and I was just extremely amazed and happy. But. Uh, Needless to say, you know, the chief was even more happy, you know, because those are all these hours that we weren't out, that we were up and we were running, and that business can get back as usual, you know, without having a service outage for 36 plus hours, you know, you never know. Um, this was, we were down, and then we came right back up, like almost nothing ever happened. Working with, with everybody at Reduxio from top to bottom, from support to sales to engineering to everywhere, you know, everybody in the company has is, is, is just been an amazingly tremendous help. They've been incredibly polite, pleasant to deal with, extremely knowledgeable. Any question that you have, they'll you know, have the answer for you. And if they don't know it, they'll reach out to somebody else and they'll you know, find that answer for you. Working with, with Daniel and support, Dimitri with engineering came in to install the whole system for me. From cabling to even you know, straightening up some of my mess, he came in and cleaned up after me. It's like having my mother next to me working with me. So there's never a problem with anybody in the entire company, you know, coming to, to give you a hand where you need it and even where you didn't need it. It's something that they didn't do. They find the answer for you.